Hello and welcome once again. Now, how tricky it is when there is a question like, what are your future goals comes? So you need to be ready with your long term plans. Everyone that I speak, every student or job aspirant that I speak, they have their short term and the long term goal clear. Yes, to a greater extent, but they do not have a right explanation to it. So while attempting such a question, what are your future goals? Let us also take a deep explanation about it. So interviewers ask this question to determine whether your career goals align with the role of the company. Answer honestly and explain how the role fits into your long term goals and aspirations. Offer only professional aspirations such as leadership roles, expertise or business ownership. Along with your qualification, background and professional experience, an interviewer will want to know your plans for the future. Employers may ask this question in different ways. Some of these include what are your future goals or what are your career goals? Where do you see yourself in five years? We have covered an exclusive video on this, which you can see it anytime. What are your future plans if you get this job? Your response to these kind of question will help recruiters and hiring managers to know you better and understand if your professional goals and expectations of the role match what they can provide or offer. If things go well, this context enables them to put together a job offer that is exciting for you. Now, how to answer what are your future goals? The way you answer this question may vary depending on the company and position. But there are a few things you can consider as you decide how to respond in any situation. First of all, define your career goals. That's the reason you have career objective or professional statement as the first thing in your resume or CV. An important practice for this interview question is to assess what you want in the next five years of your career. You can even plan further thinking about the next decade too. This is just one of the few questions you should ask yourself before an interview actually. Set some time aside to write down your career goals both short term and long term. Here are a few questions to get you started. Prepare these. Seriously, what are you good at? First. Second, what do you want to be good at? Third, what do you enjoy most about your current job? Or what did you enjoy doing the best in your college days? What work are you most proud of? What jobs or projects look appealing to you? What did you learn in your internship? What skills or opportunities will be available in next few years or even a decade? So once you have identified your answers to all the questions that I've just raised, here are examples of more tangible goals that may emerge for you. So managerial or leadership experience industry expertise, end-to-end -end project management, project conception or leadership, developing and streamlining new processes, having strong relationships with clients, providing excellent service or care, becoming expert level at one specific skill or maybe two. Second, most important is research the company and position you are interviewing for. See the consistency that we have been continuously monitoring, guiding you and facilitating you on how important it is to understand and read the company. So your response to what are your future goals should be focused on how your long term career goals match with this company and how this company is growing and the opportunities this job is going to provide to you. In your research, 
look for information about company structure, mission, expansion, focuses or new initiatives. Start by visiting their company website, reading the about us and press releases pages can uncover items like the highlights that the company is undertaking presently the most concurrent events that they cover now this will highlight the company's most important announcement the bottom line is it has to do with the announcement look for recent news stories or sites with company reviews maybe google is the best thing if you subscribe to their newsletter i think every time there will be an alert if they post anything and that reaches you in time you are updated and you are best prepared that's a simple logic that goes that way now this will uh, will list key information even about the q and a section you may find more nuanced information by reaching out to your network to find someone working in the company and get to know inside out about what they are and how they are poised and where they are heading to so if someone is working there you can connect with them and try to get all the intimate look into the company's development and goals number 3 develop an answer with relevant career focus goals often our career goals are just one part of a larger life and personal aspirations for this answer focus on just your career goals If some of your personal goals happen to align with attributes that will make you a stronger candidate like being a better writer or learning a new language you can certainly include those as well while promotions or salary can also be related to your career goals avoid including these in your answer and focus purely on skills abilities or experience you want to achieve number 4 give a broad but focus answer though there can be many details to your future plans keep your answer short and at a high level making your goals too specific might limit you to certain opportunities or make you appear less well rounded than other candidates or as in all interview questions be conscious of how much time you are taking to answer the question and avoid rambling Now let us also look at few examples how to address if at all this question comes what are your future goals now as you define what your professional goals are and how you should answer the interviewer's question so let's begin with example number 1 in 5 years i'd love to be a true apparel industry expert with successful end to end project management experience under my belt as I look to grow into a more senior market analyst role. It's exciting that your company has a strong focus on hands-on experience and continual learning opportunities. If this isn't enough, let's also try to look at example number 2. A few of my future goals include leading a finance team in some capacity. I am excited about the prospect of working with teams like legal and procurement on developing streamlined processes this is a natural fit with my business administration background one reason this job stood out to me was that it calls for a candidate with organizational expertise i have had inspirational managers that i really admire and would love to manage my own team in few years if to isn't enough Let's go to the third as well. In the short term, one of my goals is to continue develop my writing skills. I want to help brands become world class publishers. In addition, I have been raising my hand for more public speaking assignments since I know that written and verbal communication skills often work together. I would love to apply this skill set to establish your company as a thought leader in the industry. So planning an interview answer in case you are asked about your future goals is a perfect opportunity to show why you are the best fit for this particular position. Understanding what you want 
out of your career in the future will help potential employers see your ambition your competence and how you are going to help their company grow so for all practical purpose you need to look into your future before and while you are doing it it's the present tense that you need to do it so if you are clear in your vision as to what you are going to do in future jot it down and frame it so beautifully well that it sounds professional it sounds skillful it sounds optimistic and it sounds maybe something which is a story so hope we have dropped enough insight into how to answer what are your future goals a simple question but a trickier one and now you will take your lesson your turn to prepare it best way best wishes thank you